Maybe you remember this. It was the 1980s, and one of Houston's hottest nightlife destinations was booming. A high-end restaurant and entertainment venue with an unmistakable ambiance. Magic Island dazzled with its Egyptian-themed dining rooms and live shows, but the venue closed more than a decade ago, and then the vandals moved in and destroyed what was left inside. So now, developers are working to bring Magic Island back to life. Channel 2 anchor Rachel McNeil takes you back in time to Magic Island's heyday, and she reveals what you can expect when the renovation is complete. Near the Southwest Freeway and Greenbrier, it's Pharaoh, perched atop arguably one of Houston's most recognizable landmarks, the old Magic Island. And now, after sitting empty for more than a decade... The rebirth, kind of like a phoenix that will be arising from the ashes, almost <laughs> literally. That is magic. The magic is back. It opened as a private club in the 80s, and for 25 years, it was one of the city's biggest and most mysterious entertainment venues. Everything around the Magic Island is a little bit magical. There was no other place that featured magic and fine dining in one place, in one venue, in the whole United States. Engagements, anniversaries, birthdays, and bar mitzvahs were celebrated within these walls. Even I got in on the tradition with a birthday celebration in my teens. And there's something different in all the rooms, uh, but it all has kind of an Egyptian kind of a theme because it's a land of mystery. This room where we're, uh, we're standing right now is called the Cleopatra's Chamber, which the roof kind of looks a little bit like that you're in uh, the barge for Cleopatra. All of the hieroglyphics that go around the wall over here tell the story of, of Cleopatra. As we go over here towards the, uh, the seance room... There was even a seance room, adding to the lore that Magic Island might be haunted. Yes, there are things that uh, go bump in the night, uh, and also in that room. Go ahead and open your hand. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Magician Scott Wells is entertainment director and performed for decades at the original Magic Island. Yeah, it is back together in one piece. My memories were the nights when we were the busiest, when we would have like 650 <laughs> reservations. For the last 10 years, the lights have been out at Magic Island. Damage from Hurricane Ike and a fire shuttered the 10,000 square foot venue. While the building sat empty, vandals destroyed a lot of the original artwork featuring Egyptian hieroglyphics. All of this had graffiti all over it, and we just had a, a marvelous uh, artist uh, who had come in and painted over all this and put it back to his former glory. But now, construction crews are busy restoring a lot of the original pieces in time for a grand reopening by the end of the year. Scott has gathered some of the old gang of magicians, and they're ready to amaze and dazzle a new generation of customers. Now this is it, Sanctum of Cheops. I did hundreds and hundreds of shows in this room back in the 90s. I remember it like it was yesterday. And I was a sleight of hand artist, and a lot of people say it's their favorite kind of magic because it happens right in front of you, and it's just absolutely amazing. The renovated Magic Island will feature modern magic shows updated for today's younger audiences. The food, think surf and turf. They'll also feature kid-friendly performances. Magic Island is set to open in late December or early January and will be open Tuesdays through Saturdays. To put your name on the wait list for reservations and see a slideshow of Magic Island then and now, look for this story on our homepage at click2houston.com. Rachel McNeil, KPRC Channel 2.